<laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Hey, Mary. We were just in the courthouse. What were we doing? So this is really fun. We got a, an inside view of what the government thinks they should or shouldn't keep secret regarding their ideas about national security. But they seem to have the idea that the national security imperative is to keep this information classified whether or not it exists and whether or not someone's on a no-fly list. So essentially 13 persons who had been wrongfully put on a no-fly list had been prevented from seeing their families and conducting foreign business and often had very extreme measures inflicted upon them including taking five airplanes, getting stuck in a jail in Mexico, taking uh, sea transport. I was really surprised that we didn't start talking about um, traveling by use of uh, animals hitched to wagons across <laughs> great deserts and it was really interesting and the uh, judge was really quite interesting and Jay Brown was Anna Jay Brown was very favorable to the plaintiffs who were represented by the ACLU very well very excellent lawyering on their part um, but the judge was very favorable to the the, the proposition that people who have sick relatives need to get to their sick relatives and that their business and their reputational damage for the no-fly lists could be very, very significant. And that um, the government was trying to assert that their Court of Appeals process was sufficient to provide some kind of semblance of due process. But the lawyer representing the government, quite a young guy, possibly as young as myself, couldn't even come up with one instance of a successful attempt for a no-fly victim to get any kind of definitive proof about the databasing errors or the misinformation or any substantive reason why they should be on the no-fly list. Okay, Mary, thank you. Okay.